master your database, make your millions. In today's real estate world, we are really required to generate a lot of leads, follow up on our leads, and the most sophisticated people, or even when you're starting out, need to have a CRM system. The question is, how do you do all this? Why do you need to do it? And what's the impact if I set it up right or if I don't set it up right? So in this presentation, I'm gonna show you how if you master your database, you're gonna make your millions. And trust me, we learn from other people's mistakes. So I've made my millions, but I'm gonna show you how you can lose millions. So again, stay through this presentation where I walk you through the power of KV Core. One thing to note, I spent 16 years in the technology industry. I have built a CRM system and I have a degree in decision science and management information system as well. I've sold 700 homes and I've been in the real estate industry since 2004. Why does that matter? Because I have a special knowledge and unique skill that I can bring these things together. And it's really important to understand why you need to do something so that you can implement the technology to make your business millions of dollars. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how you can master your database, make your millions with KV Core generating and converting leads. I'm Kim Barber with Kim Barber Group and eXp Realty, and I've helped thousands of owners and agents with real estate since 2004. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of the power of KV Core in a CRM system, how to effectively set it up, get the templates and the foundational elements so that you can be consistent and really increase your conversion by using such a robust system. Now there is a ton of information that leads into each one of these topics. And so if you're interested in learning more and really making lots of money and not losing lots of money by a lower lead conversion, do us a favor and subscribe so that we can share with you more information. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you can see as we update our weekly content also, if there's information that you have questions or you have things that you would like for me to talk about, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you're interested in some of the coaching products that are coming out or joining our team or masterminds, go ahead and also, you know, subscribe, send me a comment, find me on Instagram, send me a direct message, and we can keep you in the loop on those things as well. Remember what they say, it's all in the follow-up. So master your database, make your millions. Again, I'm going to talk about generating and converting leads with KV Core. Now, if you're not using KV Core, this will give you an opportunity to check out this system. But if you don't want to change your system, the fundamentals of what I'm going to share here are, are important because if you're using a good system, then they should have these key features. Just a really quick background about who I am. Like I mentioned, I did spend 16 years in the high tech world building enterprise wide systems that corporations use to manage their client life cycle. Going into real estate, it's been very critical because it's important to have an understanding that you are going to have a life cycle with your leads all the way to clients and then after, right? So a CRM is a customer relationship management tool and I'm going to jump into that. So this is a little bit of background about myself and what I want to talk to you about is the power of KV Core. And then the lead gen, right? The lead gen within KV Core to fundamentally understand how you can generate leads for free and why you would want to use which ones. And then how to set those leads up for increased conversion within KV Core is super important. So whether it's this one or any other CRM, you can generate leads, but the money is in the follow-up. I can't say that enough. So it's really super important to set them up correctly. So again, my story, I have poured over $300,000 in lead generation over my uh, career since 2004. And whether you're doing um, open houses, Zillow, social media, wherever you're generating your leads from, it's when they come in, you don't even have to be spending money, but if you do open houses, it's your time. So when they come in, it's what you do next that's super critical. And so these are some places, you know, typically when you're a new agent, you start off with like one or two lead sources, and then you're gonna increase it to add more and more. And so even knowing where those lead sources come from is super important so that you know how to follow up. Again, I'm gonna run through this content quickly. And if you like this information and you find it valuable, 
then please you know hit the button and subscribe and so that you can get more information that'll help you with your lead generation understanding all the functionalities and the power that this has and follow-up systems so Google, it doesn't matter. I've spent tons of money in here. And right now, quite honestly, I'm not buying any more leads. I personally, in my career, have thousands of leads. And instead of going and spending more, I'm spending time cleansing my database and going through and really making sure that they're all set up right. Again, lessons learned. I have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on leads and it really is uh, stomach aching when you go through them and they're not set up correctly and then you find out how many people have gone ahead and bought and sold with somebody else because we weren't providing value or staying in touch with them. So systems, these are all of the systems that I have used since 2004. You can see that the list is pretty extensively and I would imagine that many of you have used one or many of these as well. So I'm coming to you with the understanding of all of these other options and I've ended up at KV Core because I found that it's the most robust, it's the most powerful, and it does offer what our clients want, which is interaction with you on real estate, right? So I'm gonna talk more about that here. So KV Core, some people, you know, dive into this and they're like, oh my gosh, what is a CRM system? So I just want to tell you a little bit about KV Core. First of all, CRM system is a customer relationship management software system. So KV Core is a very powerful uh, web and CRM solution. So CRM solution is a customer relationship management system. It can be called a solution. So in our real estate career, really when somebody comes in as a new lead or a person that we're just, we've gotten to know in our sphere, they're a customer until they become a client. So fundamentally, a CRM system is designed to help you manage the whole life cycle of a person or a lead or an account, right? So the interesting thing to know about KV Core is also that it started out more of a CRM system and they added the website front end. So the back end, the CRM part, is a lot more powerful than many in comparison to the front end of the website. I do believe that they're definitely coming a long way with the options to build out custom pages and things like that. But the fact that they have both the web front end and the CRM back end together, and they are both very powerful and effective is why I went to over to eXp quite honestly as one of the reasons because it is such a great system to have in place. So that being said, it also can feel complicated. It can feel very overwhelming because it is so powerful. So knowing that it has a lot to offer is really important to understand and get through this presentation so that you can see why it's like getting it set up will keep you from losing your millions and making your millions in the best practice of the data and, and the information that you want. So let me just jump in here. So lead generation within KV Core can be generated from using properties and searches. Those are free leads, right? They can be generated using social media and Google. And th the biggest thing is that one of the goals should be to start generating leads organically. So organically means, you know, that, that they're going to come to find you through your brand and through who you know and through SEO and such like that. So they're not having to pay for leads, right? That's one of the ultimate goals. The other thing is that, you know, you want to make sure within KV Core that you have some of the things that are connected like the open house. So maybe you're not a social media generator, but you're an open house. KV Core has the app, which allows them to sign in to the open house and have it connect right into your back end CRM system. And then you can set it up for the lead follow up and the nurture. So you can import leads from your system, prior systems. You can do from Excel sheets and you can manually add it at any time. You also can integrate it with other tools like Facebook and um, some things that you can learn about more at another time like Zapier. So there's many, many layers to the lead generation of KV Core. This one I want to talk about are understanding how to generate some free leads. So in the black box that you'll see on the screen there, there are some things that you want to become familiar with. So these are all the different places that you're going to want to go when you're interacting with your system. So you'll see the lead engine here. 
And when you highlight over this section, you're going to see multiple choices. The landing page and the squeeze pages are the place that I feel like you can generate some of the best leads for free. And that's because you're also getting highly targeted people that want what you're showing and what you have to offer. And again, it's for free. So again, you want to get familiar with these things that are shown in the black box. And when we're, since we're talking about lead generation, you want to go to the lead engine. You're going to see this part of the screen and we're going to focus on the ones that are free, which is the landing pages and the squeeze pages. So a landing page. One of the great things about KV Core is look how nice this landing page looks. So a landing page is simply that you're going to offer something out there and it's going to be a web link, a website link, or and that's going to come to this page, right? It's a landing page. I'm going to put it out there and you're going to land on this page. So when you're looking at it and look at the box next to the arrow, you'll see where it says lead generation, video view, video and lead. So you're basically going to say when somebody comes to this page, what are the different things that you want to show? So again, there's trainings on here, but so for example, say you have a buyer's guide or a seller's guide, or you have a niche market that you're focusing on and you really want them to come here and download something, for example, then you could put it out there as an advertisement. You could put an image of a buyer's guide and you can say, click here to learn more. Then they're going to come to this landing page because that's the URL that you've told it to click here. And then they can enter their information. It's going to go into your backend CRM. And that means that this person has very intentfully wanted to have your guide. Why would somebody be asking for a guide quite honestly, if they weren't looking to buy or sell for myself, for example, downsizing, I have a few niche marks markets like downsizing or maximize your home value. So here I can plug in a video. I can say, if you want to learn more, have a, a strategy call about this, enter your information here. That's called a landing page for free. And then you can put it out there and it's look how fancy it looks, right? So that's one way for lead generation. The next thing, and this is the ultimately for free is called a squeeze page. So a squeeze page basically means that you are already putting some criteria around what the search is going to be. So if we try not to overthink what a squeeze page is, it basically means that I'm squeezing the content down so that it's already defined for what somebody's going to get. In this example, you're going to see that I've put in here a certain county. I live in Northern Virginia. And so I put in one of my counties and I want to come back to say that the intent of this is for social media. Let me just pause there. So a squeeze page is intended to be for social media like Facebook, or you can do this for Google. And that means you would run some ads. If you do Facebook and you put it on your personal profile, it's not going to cost anything. So this squeeze page, as you see here, it's going to look on the right hand side. It says a link. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate a link that has squeezed the data down. And in this example, I'm putting a search in here for Loudoun County. This is going to be a home search Loudoun County. I want a single family home that has at least one acre. And so these are some of the criteria that you can put in here so that, and then you go to your, your Facebook page and then you want to, you're going to generate this link and then you're going to copy the link into your Facebook. And so if you look here on your screen where it says create post, so you can make a comment that says, are you looking for homes with at least one acre in Loudoun County with one acre? And then if you're nervous about trying this, then I would encourage you to set the audience to only me, which means only you. And then you can go ahead and fiddle with the language. You can put in the URL. It'll pop up looking nice like it does on the screen. And then you can delete the text of the URL so they don't see that in there. Then what happens is if you're comfortable with it, you can test the link. Then you change the audience to whatever you want, whether it's public, whether it's if you have audiences defined, but then the, the gorgeous thing about this is that you're showing, Hey, I'm an agent. I'm a value. I work this market yet. You're not throwing it in people's face. When you put this out there, now you, then you could take this on your business page and, and you could push it out there. And the thing about this is that maybe you're not going to get a hundred leads or however many you put your budget to, but you're going to get very highly targeted people that the, that they are interested in it and you're giving them what they want of value. 
So again, in, in the KB Core lead generation, it allows you to create these pages that then go to a very nice site. And in fact, if you put this page that is this now search result up against Redfin, then you're gonna notice that they look exactly the same. So KV Core has given you a nice solution, not only to create these searches, to squeeze them down, to then capture their information, but they've got a really gorgeous front end, uh, front end system there that can compete with the best. So that is one of my favorite ways to generate highly targeted qualified leads because we know that it's, it's pretty unlikely that somebody would give their information about an area and the type of home if they weren't actually interested in it. So then the next part, these are some other options that you can use to generate leads. These are paid for more. So you can get familiar with all of these and in the, in the time that I wanna spend here, I don't wanna go over every single one because it is, there's a lot to offer. So the one thing I do wanna say though, these leads right here, in contrast to a property boost, again, are highly targeted. A property boost you could put out there, it's great, except that they're less targeted and filtered. So they might click on the property just because they're curious or it looks nice, but they're not gonna necessarily give you the correct information. Somebody like this on this uh, squeeze page is more likely to give you the information because they actually want this kind of content. So when it comes to all the things I've shared so far and moving forward, uh, KB Core also has a great support and training system. So you can certainly go back to that. I'll be sharing more content about training. You can find my videos here. There's a lot of videos out there. And again, if you come back here and look at the bottom of the screen on the black, you'll see where it says support. And then you can go through and you will find the training that is in here and you can follow that through. So I would encourage that. All right, so if you're not overwhelmed yet, let me tell you that most people go into overwhelm, even myself, until you start to figure this out. So again, you know, you can come back and scroll over here, get the highlights, and then look for more content to follow along. As well, I've got some templates that I'm gonna talk to, and if you comment below saying you want the templates, then we can work on getting those to you. So these faces, I've experienced these faces again, lessons learned. Learn from other people's mistakes is one of the best ways to do it. So I've had some pretty significant health issues over the last five years. So I had all these leads coming in, but then I personally wasn't able to follow up with them and set them up the way that I wanted to. I was also using other people to set these things up. And what I learned is that if you can have a system, if you can have a template and kind of a checklist, then it allows you to go through each contact and then literally like check each one. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And again, the templates are going to be here and available for you. If you're interested, comment below and we will help get those to you. So now we're gonna jump into master your database, make your millions and converting the leads, right? So now we've generated leads, you've imported leads, whatever it is you're doing, you have leads coming in. And so now what? The money is in the follow-up and it's super important to keep in touch with them. And this is not new, right? But it is really important for us to understand that we have to organize them. We have to keep in touch with them. We have to stay in front of them. And if you look at the image here of lead generation, it is the foundation and the fundamental concept of customer relationship management. So we want to provide value. People come to us as real estate agents because they are looking to buy or sell homes or they're looking for a solution to buying and selling homes. If you're in niche markets, like I said, downsizing, renovation, probate, those types of things are solutions that people are looking at in the real estate space. So the other thing that's really important is you have these leads. We wanna track their timing. So I don't know about you, but I've gone through my years of being in, in the industry and I've gone from post-it notes to index cards to sheets of paper by the calendar month, trying to remember when somebody was gonna do what. And so this system allows you to create campaigns that I'm gonna call them time-based campaigns. So that starts to get us into some mastery level. The other thing that's really important is that if you don't track these, somebody else will. So every lead counts. So notice I've got some statistics in here and I wanna tell you some stories. So just this week, we uh, got a new client from a lead that was six years old. 
And that is really a testimony to don't throw out your leads, right? If you go through these older leads or age leads perhaps, or now you're working you know, the new leads and you're getting them up to date, if you have their correct information, you have their address, or you pick up the phone and you gather more details, then you know you can set up some things so that all of a sudden you're providing value. So don't discount the fact that, well, it's been a few years, it's been a few months, we just signed a contract or signed a listing agreement for somebody that was six years old as an age lead, it was expired. And what we did was we went through some of the things I'm gonna share and we started to send them uh, neighborhood reports and market reports. And he didn't open up a lot of the other stuff, but then he, he started opening up our market reports that was a, an indicator that they're more interested. We picked up the phone and now we have a new listing. Another testimony in here is that we had an expired lead from 2017 and it was a $1.6 million sale that we also did this year. And that was a really great uh, sale, obviously a great commission. And we helped them also because we have the value of downsizing. So really these numbers are true and don't, you know, throw away the leads if you have good contact. It's also math, right? So if you can set up your spear and set these people up the right way, which I'm going to show you, or some ways that I highly encourage, then for example, your sphere of influence, a very good goal is to get 10% return over your sphere of influence um, category, if you will. So what does that mean? For myself, my definition of a sphere, I have different levels. My sphere A, I have categorized in my system. I have campaigns set up. I have a hashtag to them. Again, I'm going to talk about these a little bit at a high level. And those are people that really, that you know, like, and trust, and they know you, they like you and you trust you. So my definition of sphere A are people that are actually that. Some other people might call it like everybody in their database, but let's face it. I think those are leads and not your sphere. So let's just use the number 100. If you could use this CRM system to get a higher rate of return out of that, and I, I don't mean to discount the way that sounds, but if you can get a better conversion out of the people that you know, like, and trust. So let's say you have 100 people that genuinely know you, that genuinely refer your business, and you're getting 5%. So in your easy math, your average commission is $10,000. So if you're converting out of 100 people, 5%, that's $50,000, right? If you're able to increase that conversion 10%, which would be the goal, then now it's 10 deals a year, 100,000. So how do you use KV Core to increase your conversion? There's different ways that you can start to add value. For me, I was getting 5% return. I was able to increase it to 13%. I have a big num bigger number and it added more than $275,000 a year to our income. So again, the money is in the conversion. So what do you do to add value? In KV Core, there are key features that are neighborhood updates, uh, seller valuation, and property alerts. So if you look at the, at the icon again, you're gonna bring in traffic, you're gonna capture them, or you're gonna manually enter them, or they're gonna come in through an open house, whichever is your lead source, then you're gonna nurture them. And these are the ways that people really want. This is what they really want. They come to a realtor because they want to know their value. They wanna know what's the market doing. And these are the features that KV Core has available to us that quite honestly, I didn't find in any of the other systems, all of these things. So this is the type of stuff that we're gonna to wanna to put out in front of them. And we also all know that in, in order to stay in front of our sphere, they recommend a few different touches. And so one email a week is good. So you could send a neighborhood update maybe every three weeks. You could send a zip code market update every month. And then you could do a property alert if they're buying a home or you can stagger those out. So next thing you know, they're automatically getting these. This is the automation without you having to do a lot except for the front end work. Then you start to look for clues that they're actually coming to your site and getting more interested. Now you're adding value without having to do all of the work in the long term, except that you're doing the work on the front end. So these are the, some of the features and the key things you need to know. You have to have their contact information. So maybe for your friends, you have their phone number, you go through your phone and you're like, wow, I've never emailed them or I've never mailed anything to them. You know, asking people for their email or going on the public records and getting their address and then calling them. Hey, 
I'm wanting to do this for you. I want you to see what's going on in your neighborhood. And you know, I want to send this like every three weeks, you'll be able to see what's going on in your, in your neighborhood, just like you do on your stock. Maybe check out the photos that's adding value. So you also want to learn that they have call systems and text systems and email. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. The mastery starts to get into the campaign automation and the hashtag. So again, if all of a sudden you're like, Oh my gosh, it's a lot but come back and look at this slide, find the sections. And then again, we'll have, there's a lot more content that will be helping you along. So implementing the touches, let's break it down. I own a home, maybe you likely own a home or are going to, what are the things we want to know? The market, the market can be a bigger space. It can be the town. It can be the zip code. You can also then narrow it down to the neighborhood. As a real estate expert, you may notice that that home over there is more rural and they don't have a neighborhood. So maybe you're going to have to trim it down and set up a search alert so that, for example, if their property is, you know, 800,000 and they've got two acres, you know, maybe you're going to set up something between 700 and 900,000 between one and three acres, and then they can just watch those homes. So you'll have to, you know, toggle with this based on your expertise and then also the seller valuation. So you can also put their address in and then you can put it into the seller valuation section, click the button, just like any of the other, you know, Zillow's estimates that most of us don't love and that are as, you know, are pretty inaccurate. You can also click that and it will, it can send it, you know, you can press the button and can send it right to the person that um, you're, you're setting up here. And then the nice thing that happens is that you can then see the value of their home. Now you can call them and say, Hey, just want to make sure, did you see the value of your home I just sent and remind them until we actually see their home, the location, the upgrades, etc. It might not be 100% accurate, but that adds value. And again, now you're having regular touches. So if you look on the side here, I've actually already got this set up for this particular property. This is my home. So, uh, you know, hopefully you won't come show up on my, on my doorstep, but I do want to use it as an example to protect other people's privacy. So you'll notice I've got some alerts set up for different things that I pay attention to with some of my investment areas. I've got the spear a campaign that for me is a campaign that I've set up to call people every 70 days. That's another thing we'll talk about a little bit later, but that's a, that's a campaign that I'm set up in for myself. And then I've got this market report. So I want to see this neighborhood update for my direct neighborhood every seven days. You can set it 14, 21, 28 days. And then I've got my listing valuation. So this shows how much my house is worth. So then when you go to call people, then you can stay better in touch with them. So as you can see, if you can implement all these touches on the right hand side, this will start to fill in. And when you come to this uh, customer record, look at all the information. Now you're going to see what neighborhood they're in. It's going to remind you they're adding value. You can stagger the touches that they get, and then you can see how much they, their home is worth so that when you're talking to them, it's a little bit more valuable for you to remember, Oh, they have a $200,000 house. Oh, I forgot they're in a 1.5 million. You don't know them. And then, you know, now you can see where they're at. So the other thing that I mentioned is that you need their contact information so that you can put that in there. And then there's calling and texting and emailing systems. So this, for example, is the calling. There's a few things that I want to point out that is called lifestyle, right? I really don't want to give my personal phone number out to everybody or live by my phone. And so I think work life balance is very important and I don't want my phone going off all the time. It's, it's not what I want when I'm out with my friends. I don't want to feel like I'm ignoring somebody. So I just want to say that right up front because I am a big proponent and love the fact that KV core has an auto dialer. I can text, I can email, I have some uh, best practices on how, on how I can use quick templates to send stuff that I type all the time. And so you really want to understand that they have this, it's part of this solution. So you can actually do your call. So instead of using your private phone, I encourage you to use this system and then it's going to call you from that number and then it's going to be able to record and you can, did they get a hold of you? Did you not get a hold of them? Is it a bad number? And so what if somebody says, you know what, Kim, I'm busy right now. Can you call me tomorrow at six? I've got, you know, a, a soccer game tonight. And so you can write, call them tomorrow. They were at a soccer game and then you can go over and then you can see schedule the call. So right here you can see schedule the call, right? 
And then what you want to do is you can add your notes and then you can come down here and schedule the call. So then down in here, KV Core actually allows you to connect with your Google. This is for both emails and for your calendar. So for me, if I can have it on my calendar for tomorrow at six, how powerful is that? Otherwise you're trying to remember, you're trying to log in. And that to me is a very powerful, great option. The same thing with the text. If you have the mobile app that KV Core has, you also can get these updates to your phone and then it'll show you so-and-so texted you or so-and-so revisited and looked at a property again, but these texts are great. So they're right next to the calling and the emailing. You can also send a text. What it's showing you in the middle is that there is some uh, templates right in here. So you can actually use a template. They've got some default ones that just said, Hey, I have time or, you know, are you an investor? Like maybe they called on a property that seems like an investor. They have some things in there that are frequently used templates or you can make your own. So for example, I've got one that um, call, is called like, you know, testimonial text. And in there is language that says, Hey, it was great working with you. Uh, do you mind if you do a review for us? Or you can send it to your friend. You can say friend testimonial, you know, Hey friend, would really love if you can help us out and do a review right here. Can you click the link, say anything, keep it simple, whatever. You can actually save that in here as a text message, scroll down, press send, done. Then it will send the text, boom. The great thing about all of this is now you're starting to work the funnel, right? So now you've got neighborhood updates, you got market updates, you got seller valuation, you can send them easy text. It's super robust. And now you're getting to the point where you can watch what they're doing, right? Now you've grabbed their attention. You're giving them things that are interest you and interest them. And now you're looking for action. So this is where it starts to show on your main dashboard. Look at all of these activities that are happening. These are people that are coming and looking at properties. And then this, for example, is the text right in the middle there that's inbound and outbound. So I can call text email, I can respond to them. And this is just some things that have happened in my site that was in a two day period. So you can start to watch their engagement and you can respond back. So the do's and the don'ts of the touches. So basically my advice is to use their smart numbers, use their dialers and use their tracking so that you can have work life balance and so that you don't have to remember everything. It's impossible for us to remember everything as much as we want. And then as you start to mature your business or you're in it for a long time, I tell you like after when you sell 700, a thousand homes, even 50, 10 for that matter, it, it starts to, you start to forget you know, the different information that you want to know. And so I encourage you to use their systems so that you can have some separation so you can have some tracking so that it can log it. So that at the end, you're actually doing a service to yourself by um, making it not so difficult and having that balance. So now look what happens over here. These are all, this is uh, one of the people that I've been working with for years, right? And so look at these notes that I can put up here. Now, when somebody comes back in myself, I can see the notes that I've added from our calls. I can see the activity. So this like arrows right here is inbound outbound, and I can see the history. Um, I can see some uh, information when I called them. And then over here, I can, on the other side, you can see that I've got some different alerts set up for them. You don't have to remember it all. The other thing I want to share with you is that think about over time or one of the goals of real estate agents is also to perhaps get out of the industry. And one of the things that people would want to buy is your database or take over. It's your database or you want to expand into a team. Imagine not having these notes or imagine having these notes and then somebody else can come behind you and they can see what's up. They can see the history. They can see the activity just like a professional company does when you call in and, and you're one of their clients and you're going to say, well, are the notes there from when I talked to you the last time? And so this is the same thing, uh, much more powerful, sophisticated and mature of a business. So again, the best way to learn is from other people's mistakes. I've had a lot of people in and out of my business through the years. I've held more accountable than others accountable. And then over time, when, when I audited and found out that we had, we could target $3 million of gross commissions that were gone 
people bought and sold people that we had talked to people that said stay in touch with us it's wrenching it's heart-wrenching and then you know I had another agent who was a part-time agent and this is to the team leaders or to yourself and I had given him 350 leads and really wasn't working them the right way and I didn't hold him accountable or I didn't give him like the checklist like you have on the side here and so there was a varying amount of information I give over to my inside salesperson and she's trying to go backwards and out of the 350 we had documented that 42 people had already bought and sold. So 42 people times our average sales price, which is 13,000, you do the math, that's not even included in the, in the 3 million that I had done that we learned when I had my health crisis and, and over the five years, you know, we just weren't able to keep up with the leads and that's what can happen. Don't let that happen to you. So that being said, the other thing is don't overwhelm yourself. I encourage you not to overwhelm yourself with trying to hurry up and get a bunch of leads. Instead, work the leads that you have and make them good like I just talked about. Like if you have too many leads, it's really hard for you to convert all of them because you're busy chasing. Convert the ones and then when you see the ones that are actually funneling down, right? You have all these leads up at the top, right? Maybe this is a hundred or a thousand or two thousand. And then all of a sudden you're realizing that the ones down here in the, in the narrow part are the ones that are actually responding, opening up your emails, responding to your text, looking at the market report. That's, and you want to work the bottom of the funnel, right? That's the smart way to work the CRM system. This is how all of these things come together and, and work the life cycle and start creating a relationship with them, a customer relationship management. So I had somebody ask me today, basically, Kim, how do you use KV core to generate seller leads? What are you doing? Well, I went, asked her, how many leads do you have in the system? She said a thousand. So I, to, I reminded her most buyers, 70% of the buyers are also sellers. And what we're doing and what I encourage you to do is go through with these checklists and with your standards and complete all of the things that I've just said and try to get the business from those instead of buying more and more and more and trying to catch the one, like try to catch many by giving the value. And so the way I'm using it is not by going out and spending more money, but by using the robustness and everything it has to offer to generate the leads by adding more value that actually I'm creating and converting the leads of what I have. Then you can use the other things, squeeze pages, landing pages. You can do property boost if that's what you like and get more leads into the system. But I encourage you to make sure your database is good first. So then database mastery. I've mentioned some hashtags. I've mentioned campaigns. Once you have your database cleansed and set up right, then that's when really getting the more campaigns set up is a smart thing to do. Understanding hashtags. Here's how the hashtags work. Hashtags are simply a label, a category that you want to check the box, and they can be used to do a couple things. They can be used to run reports, then they can be used to kick off campaigns. So for example, maybe you have um, a hashtag expired and you can actually go in and set up a filter and run a report for, I want to run a list of all the expired leads that are in my database. Maybe you want to send a broadcast message to all the expired things saying, make sure you see this updated market report. That's just an example. You can do a, uh, a label of mailing list and put that hashtag to somebody that is who you want to mail to. Maybe you want to give a party invite because you only want to really invite 50 people. Maybe you want to have a hashtag to sphere a so we've got a laundry list again if you'd like some of my templates comment below and we will try to get them to you and um, put some links out there so that you can download these products so that being said there are different ways you can use hashtags to basically run reports so you can keep a track of the history for me there's also ways to kick off campaigns what's a campaign it's an automated set of activities that will happen that allow you to have automation. And I'm gonna give an example here. Say I'm talking to somebody and they say, Kim, that's great. I'm in a rental until one year from now and then I'm gonna buy. You can set up a campaign that says 12 months buy, sell, whatever. So we have 30, 60, 90, six months, 12 months campaigns that allow me to put, that we go into the hashtag and we create the campaign to kick off. When the hashtag says, 
six months by this thing kicks off. That's database mastery. That gets you to an even higher conversion so that you can keep track of the nurtures that you're setting up in your system. So the, con the concept is that you want to have automated campaigns that say, I want, I want to call them at this time period. I'm going to go ahead and send them a text here. I'm going to maybe send them an email and you have some automation or it's just a task that gets set in your schedule to remind you, Hey, uh, we're getting close. It's, you said 12 months now it's the six month mark. I'm just going to check in on your timing, et cetera, et cetera. So that being said, here's an example of the hashtags that I have that we have as our sample list. So you'll notice over here, you have sphere, we have sphere A, B, and C. C for us, again, it's the sphere are people that have given us their phone number, we have their email, we have their address. So what are some examples of people that would do this outside of the people that we know, like, and trust? Circle prospecting, obviously you've called them, you know where they live, expired, you've called them, you know where they live. And so those are the people that if you can set, hey, I have 200 people that fall into that category and they all are gonna buy and sell within the next year, maybe you wanna do hashtag Sphere C, set up a campaign to call them every 90 days, then have them running into a campaign that's based on their timing, etc. If you have 100 people, you can set up a conversion that you wanna say, I wanna convert 10%. This is all math. We, you know, but these are the things that you can think through. How about some closed, you know, after years, you might forget when it is that you closed this, uh, when you had this closing, but isn't it fun to say, wow, it's already been like five years or here's your one month an or one year anniversary. So these are some different ideas that you have uh, location. Maybe they went into an open house that was in a certain area and you would you now you have a listing in that area or you want to send out a market report for that area this is adding value because people are interested in that area kv core allows you to do these things also you'll notice in the life cycle it'll say like new lead prospect active lead etc so they've given you some boundaries i've gone ahead in here and created a little bit more structure and this is the definitions that we use so that we can walk them through and here's some examples of some campaigns. So you can notice here that you go to marketing and smart campaigns. And then this is a list of the ones that we can start with. There are default ones that KV core has. And then we've gone ahead and created some that are the time-based campaigns. These are what I find are very, very important. And again, if you're interested, comment below subscribe to our channel and I'm going to be showing these and making these available so that you can get these campaigns for yourself. So this is another one that is a little bit more intense to show you the details, not intense, but meaning I'm showing you the details. So here's one up close. This is a 30 day time frame to sell the home. And so like after you speak with them and they say 30 days, a couple hours later, I've got it set up that says, Hey, it was great talking to you today. And I know that the 30 days out, but in the meanwhile, you know, here's a couple links to my site. Here's, you know, this other information that I want to share with you. And I look forward to staying in touch at any point you need me Just send me a text or call, whatever. Then, you know, on day seven, like here, you can see it's going to have your first call on day 14, the next call. Maybe I'm going to send an email, et cetera. So this is going to go through and it's going to remind you to text, email, call, et cetera. So again, this is really to help you understand the robustness of KV core. It has a lot to offer. It's a lot to take in. So if you find this information helpful, please do us a favor and subscribe so you can get it alerted, click the notification so that you know when we send out new content. And if you're interested in learning more about the coaching and teaching that we're going to be doing, send a message below and we'll get back to you and hopefully help you out with mastering your database and making your millions. Ooh.